Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is... I don't know what day. <laughs> I keep forgetting. I'm bulk recording uh, for the over the holidays or Christmas. So you'll see me in the same outfit, in the same spot for a few videos. But just because I don't want to record on like Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. Anyways, this is No Catchy Name episode. Um, 160 maybe? Or 161? I can't remember. But I got some finished objects to share with you guys. And I only have one whip and it's almost done. So I'm super excited about it. And I can't wait to finish it. <laughs> and then I don't have any whips after that. I'll, I know I've got one coming up because I always like to do a good luck project for the next year. So I'm going to be doing that towards the end of December. But I don't know if I'm going to start anything else because of the baby. I don't know. Maybe a little amber grease. But we'll see. Anyways, let's get into the finished objects. So I have two patterns here that I made from Michelle Estrada's patterns, which is Pixie Marie Crates. I'll link her down below. So one is this cute little sprout. <laughs> she sent this pattern to me for free. And it's got a really cute little um, story along with it. If I can think about it, I'll pop up the picture that has a story on it. So you guys can read what it uh, says. <laughs> also, I don't have to read that loud. But anyways, it's just a cute little sprout. I used a scrap of, this is Red Heart Super Saver Bright Yellow. And this is some Patty Green. And the little cheeks are just some pink and black. And then little safety eyes. It's so cute. It worked out pretty fast. He stands up. <laughs> I have him by my, he's sitting by my computer just to kind of have him off to the side because he's just cute and happy. But I'll link that pattern down below if you want to check it out. Super cute. And this next one by Michelle, I got fiber in my nose. <laughs> uh, this is a pattern I tested for her. This is her new pattern. Uh, I'm pretty sure she's got it released now. I don't know, I'll have to check. <laughs> but it is a polar bear. But I'm going to go ahead and show it because she's, she's been sharing hers, so it's not like a secret. But it's a polar bear uh, ragdoll pillow. So mine's not white because actually I have no white yarn. I have like a little ball. i got to buy some more <laughs> to have on hand because I make so many amigurumis. I go through white a lot. Uh, this is Red Heart Super Saver Soft White. So it's like a cream color. But he is so cute. He's made in a few pieces. So his body is two pieces, two panels. Each leg is two pieces. He's got a little tail that's just folded over, a muzzle, and his two ears. So, and I, I just stitched on the nose and um, used safety eyes. I believe those are 20, 12, those are 12 millimeter safety eyes. But he's okay. He's just got a little bit of stuff in him because he's supposed to be rag dolly. You know, he's supposed to be kind of floppy. But he's so cute. He worked up super fast. I made him in two days while watching documentaries. <laughs> I was laid up in bed. Like I put myself on bed rest every now and then. So I was laid up in bed watching documentaries and I made him. He's so cute. I don't know who I'm going to give him to. He's. I wish he showed better on camera but the light is like really making his whole show. <laughs> but they don't look that holy in person. <laughs> but he is adorable. I think he's cute. I accidentally sold mine together backwards. The body pieces, he's supposed to be facing this way. Like, Michelle has it written for his face to be on this side, but I, actually, I wasn't paying attention. So, he's just facing the opposite direction, which is fine. I guess you can do either side you want. But he is so cute. I think he turned out adorable. So, if she does have this pattern released, I will link it below. If not, I'll just link her shop below, and you can watch for it to come out. Because polar bears aren't Christmas. They're winter, and a lot of people love polar, polar, blah, blah, polar bears. I know Judy at uh, Witch Piece uh, Crafts. <laughs> uh, she collects polar bear um, whatnots so she loves polar bears <laughs> but it's just so cute I think it's cute polar bears remind me of coca-cola because of Christmas commercials <laughs> but that is my two Michelle Estrada patterns she makes the cutest patterns I've made most of her patterns uh, I tested for her a few times I tested that I tested the pig pillow the turtle pillow Hugo uh, her first pattern was that baby frog I tested that for her can't think of anymore but I do have a lot of her patterns I love her Halloween ones the little ghost is just so cute she's she's got some really cute uh, patterns so definitely check her shop out I'll link it below and support another uh, creator now my next finished objects there's five of them they're Christmas ornaments and they're all gingerbread <laughs> the first one is a free pattern by Maria's blue crown which I also love those patterns from her website She's the one who made the Christmas blanket I'm working on and the Halloween blanket that I made. And she's um, she made that Frankenstein pillow that I have. And she's got all kinds of cute patterns. But this is one my sister sent to me through Messenger and asked me if I could make it. She found it on Pinterest and thought it was cute. But it's a little gingerbread house. And it's, it's made in two pieces. The 
gingerbread <laughs> is two little panels and then you just make these little circles for gumdrops and then you stitch on the windows and then when you sew it together you use brown around this part and then you switch to white and do like icing and then a little hanger so I gotta give this to my sister when we go to see her on Christmas Eve but it's so cute and it worked out super fast get a little gingerbread house I'll link that below if you want to check it out because I know it's almost Christmas but you could always get prepared early for next year because <laughs> um you know Christmas comes every year. <laughs> the next four are the same things. They are gingerbread men from Repeat Crafter Me. I made one of these for myself. It's on my tree. And I made these four because my apartment manager expressed interest in them. And then she never came back. But then when, I, when we took out the trash one day, she talked about it again. And then she still never came. So I don't know if she's going to get these or if these are just going to be extra ones for me. But uh, either way, I don't care because they're cute. So I did make four of them. And they're also made in two pieces. They have a front piece and a back piece. And then you, I use safety eyes because I don't have any buttons. I need to get some buttons. Little buttons. And I just stitch on the mouth. And then you surface crochet. I keep calling it top stitching because I sew. But it's called surface crochet. Um, them together. Which is real easy. It's basically where you just hold the two pieces together. And you slip stitch through them both all around. You can write words and stuff like that. So there's, they're all exactly the same. Oh, there's four of them <laughs> so it still counts as four finished projects but they work up really fast i watched i was watching tv and youtube videos and stuff while making these little guys I had the pattern in my brain you know once you make a couple it's just stuck in there and you have to make eight of them to make four so um they worked up really quick i think they're cute so i got a lot of gingerbread cookie things <laughs> but that's all my finished objects i'm pretty sure i don't think i left anything else but i do have an active whip and it's my christmas blanket and i have a lot of work done on it it's almost done i'm super excited that it's almost done. I, I can't really hold it up and show it to you where I'm sitting, but I will take, I'll lay it out and take a picture of it. But I am in the process of attaching all the squares and they are mostly attached. So here's a part that's attached all together. And then right here's where they're still not attached all the way. I only have four more. I have to crochet this way down to attach all these parts together. But other than that, it is pretty much done. Then I'll have to do all these ends. But I'm just going to knot most of them because I am going to line it. So all the ones that have two <laughs> beside each other, I can knot them together and cut them. And then uh, I will be lining it probably after the new year. Uh, and then putting a border on it and it should be done. I'm probably going to end this in my fair next year if they have a fair. Because this one is big and really cute. I'm proud of it. This is my own pattern right here. I just made a little present because I didn't want to make the elf. But it, they're so cute. I will link the main pattern below. And I did use some different appliques. I think. Let's see here. Which one's the most different? The present was one that I made it myself. Oh, the reindeer was a different one than hers. Uh, is that the only one that I did? Oh, the tree. The Christmas tree was different. because I did Hers was with loop stitches. And I hate loop stitches. So I was not going to do that. I think that's the only two that is different. But I'm excited. I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna lay it out, pick, uh, lay it out, and take a picture for you guys, and show you. It is pretty big. Uh, I haven't measured it. <laughs> if I think about measuring it, I will. But I feel like it's a lot bigger than my Halloween blanket. So I think I either used, either it had less squares, or I used a smaller hook maybe, uh, to make it. Or maybe it's just been used so much and washed. You know, it's kind of like shrunken in or something. I don't know. But I feel like this is way bigger. <laughs> but it's so cute. I just love it. I can't wait to use it next year. It's going to be so cute on the um, couch. And it's going to be cute with like pictures of the kids with it. Because by next Christmas, June will be about eight months old. And Jesse will be six and a half. Oh my God. <laughs> so I can make them sit there and wear Santa hats and take pictures of them. Hopefully. <laughs> but yeah, I will lay that out and take a big old picture for you guys. Because there's no way I can hold it up here. Because it's, it's big. But that's my last blanket whip. And it's almost done. It took me a while. I can't remember when I started it. A few months ago because I was like oh that's plenty of time to get it done and then I forgot that pregnancy gets hard the further along you go <laughs> uh, so it's taking me a while but I've caught up I finished my movie and stitch one. Oh, that's the finished object I forgot that duh I will um, insert a picture of that <laughs> I forgot all about that it's on my couch uh, it's it's completely done except being lined but that's my movie and stitch blanket it is a finished object too so it's got all 26 alphabet squares plus four extra squares to even it out and I did some horrible hand stitching on there, but it's okay. And uh, I didn't put a border on it because I don't think it needs one. 
when I line it, it'll have another roll of, roll, roll or two of like single crochet, double crochet, something, however I attach it. Um, and then it'll be done. I just have to go to Joann's and get some Christmas themed backing for my Christmas blanket. And some, I'm hoping to find a movie themed, like movie reels or um, maybe like popcorn or something. Or like candy even, like a bunch of candy for the movie one. If not, I will just get something from a movie that I like. Because they have a lot of like Harry Potter ones and, uh, you know, different famous franchise ones. I'll just get some of that. And uh, sew them together. And then they'll be finished, finished objects. Like 100% finished objects. But I will share all that once I get to that point. But I'm excited to be closing out the year without any big whips. That was my main thing. I wanted to finish those two blankets before New Year's. But I will be making my good luck charm. Last year I made a shamrock. It's still hanging in my living room. This year I'm going to make a ladybug. Because ladybugs represent luck as well. And uh, that's going to be my, my good luck charm for 2022. And uh, I'll share that pattern with you guys when I get it. I have it. I thought about make, making my own. But I don't know if I want to actually do that. <laughs> it's a lot of work to uh, design a pattern. And I only have like two weeks to do it <laughs> but um yeah so and I'll probably start some more amigurumis or something just little things maybe valentine's day stuff because I'm gonna have a baby around valentine's day so I'm not I probably won't be crocheting a lot but I can make some stuff for valentine's day now <laughs> and uh I was thinking because I have Jesse an advent calendar for valentine's day or a countdown and an advent for christmas and I still I have a halloween one I just haven't made it yet but now I'm going to have to do make them for her as well. Or at least each pocket put two things in. So that she can get one and he can get one. Like I know this Christmas she won't be eating a lot of chocolate. Because she's going to be 8 months old. But I could put little baby snacks in there. You know those little rice bars. Jesse loved those. And the little puffy things. in little bags and stuff. I'll probably do something like that. Because <laughs> I love the holidays. And I've, I've instilled it in Jesse to love the holidays. And I'm hoping to do the same thing with June. Um, because it just makes life happier when you enjoy days for no reason other than they're fun <laughs> but anyways that's everything i'm super excited to be ending the year without a blanket project because i'm gonna finish this today it's a christmas blanket i'm gonna sit down and finish it i wanted to last night but it was getting late and i was getting tired so i was like okay i gotta put this aside so today i'm gonna do those last four rows of single crochet and i'm gonna do all the ends and it'll be done until i line it so i'm excited and then i gotta find something to do because i'm gonna be bored not doing anything but I don't want to start any more big projects until at least January. But even then, I don't want to start any more blankets until the babies comes. Because I don't want to um, have it sitting there forever. Because it's been a while since I had a newborn. I did crochet a lot when Jessie was little. But she may be a completely different baby. Jessie was the easiest baby in the world. We got so lucky with him. He never threw fits or anything. But she may be the total opposite. So we'll have to wait and see. <laughs> but I'm going to hop off here and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye, guys.